here. I'm going to go ahead and do this one. And I think I'm going to use, I like contrast, so I'm going to put in a little bit more contrast than what the shading is showing on here. It, this would probably be the medium color, but I'm going to put the mauve in here so that we get more contrast. And that's just a, that's your artistic license that you're using here. And as quilters, we like contrast, so um, go for it. Okay, then I'm going to use a little bit of my medium. And this is the deep rose. And I'm going to color that all around that dark purple. And then I'm going in with my light. And you can color over what you've already colored. That'll give you a slightly different shading of your pencils. And let's see. Everything in the camera is backwards, so I'm trying to figure out which way to move this. Okay. And then we'll shade again. Apply our textile medium. There's our light color. One thing about using ink tints on fabric, you can quilt this first before you use your medium. Use your textile, your uh, ink tints. And I've done quilts where I've done the quilting first and then uh, I did the coloring afterwards with just regular colored pencils. Now I want a little bit more here, so I'm going to go over this. When it's wet, look how dark that gets. And then I can add the textile medium and blend it out just a little bit. place where I can wipe off the brush. And just work that however you want. You can put little stripes in there, which is not what I'm looking for. I'm going to wipe that off. There we go. So if you want something even more intense, use your pencils over it while it's wet, and you can get a lot darker color. Okay, for I'm gonna go ahead and finish up this this flower. This part of the flower. So let's pull that into frame for you. See if we can. No, I can't get that close. It doesn't like it being that close. Okay, let's finish this flower. These sections are light. They're they are not dark. They're light. So I'm gonna use my two lightest colors. And uh, let's see. This part is the darkest. Here, I'm going to use the deep rose. And then it actually, it actually has some dots. So I'm going to try just drawing some little dots here. And they kind of come down into here. I think this actually works better when it's wet to make your dots. So let me try that. Yeah, that's better. Okay. And my light. Now you can shade with the same color if you've got. Um, if you don't have enough colors and you want more contrast, just add more color from your pencil. 
and that'll give you a variation. Put this in here. And I think for this I'm going to leave leave this white. See how this turns out. Walk that around just a little bit. Those little dots that I put on, the pencil was still wet, so um, they're staying there. They're not moving. They're not blending in. And here's where you could use a little round pen, um, brush, which would be handy but easier to get into those little tiny areas. And on this one, I just did um, a little bit more shading here with my lightest pencil, and uh, we got some contrast there. And then here's this section was the medium. And here you go. And this section up here was also a medium color. But when this dries, you don't have to do anything else to it. You don't have to heat press it. You don't have to uh, add any other medium to it. As a textile medium, will keep it from washing out if you happen to wash it or if it gets wet for some reason. Um, you're just done. That's all you have to do. That's what we have so far. And I actually think I'm going to add some shade to there. I don't like it completely white. So this is my lightest color. And I'm going to go ahead and add some shading in here. Just very light. Now these ink tense pencils, you can buy these at um, some of the big box stores carry them. You can buy them online at uh, Jerry's Artorama or Dick Blick and there's probably other places where you can get them. I think you can get them on Amazon. I bought my original set at Hobby Lobby and then when I added, they don't sell them individually so I bought those at um, Jerry's Artorama. So there we go. So I Hope you uh, enjoyed this, and if so, please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe, and thanks for watching.